Hey man, get your ass off the road, man. Oh, oh, listen, man. You, you. I know you're my neighbor and all, but uh, you know, I, I kind of got something I need to talk to you. But get off the road, the way it is. I'm trying to get where I gotta get going and get my getting. Well, well, sir, like. I really want to talk to you, like, you know, your car's really loud, it's like a lot of pollution, it's really bad for the environment, I'm a family man, and I got kids and stuff. Screw you, man, I just pay my taxes, I pay my taxes, I pay for my pollution tax, I just gotta pay it, and I got the right to drive whatever I want because I pay old taxes. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right, but, well, I wish there was some way I could raise his taxes. Hello, I'm going to see your snack sandwich. Today we're taking a look at Clima. Um, Clima is a project that I just came across a little while ago. One of my friends on Phantom told me about it. Um, this is not actually going to Phantom, but uh, anyhow, this is a pretty cool project. Um, the main idea of this project is that they're going to create a currency that is backed, as it says here, carbon-backed digital currency with an algorithmic climate protocol. So what does that mean? It's a kind of ohm uh, you know, the Olympus Dow Ohms mashup with like crip, uh, carbon tax credits. It, it's really, really cool. So I'm going to get get into a flow chart and just give you a quick overview of what this pro project works, how it works. And then you can come in and dive deeper and join their community and check it out and stuff like that. Um, before I get into that, though, I'd like to thank Cream Finance for sponsoring my channel and allowing me to spend my time looking at stuff like this, this cool project. OK, so let's get over to a flowchart and take a look at it. OK, so here we are on the flowchart. Now, before I get into the flow of this and how things work and so forth, I'd like to preface it with the idea that, you know, I've read the documentation a couple times. But I, I haven't talked to anybody, and uh, this is not a sponsored video, so I didn't do a whole bunch of research. This is basically my understanding from reading the documentation a couple times. So I might be wrong, I might be right, but uh, I suggest you, if you like the idea here, that you go deeper and you go and ask in their community and find out what exactly is going on, and especially if I'm wrong, right? So basically, let's get into it then. So here we have the first section, the first use case the first thing about this protocol is there are these tokens called tct tokens i don't remember what it stands for and i eh, something about carbon tons or something so basically there are pro there are programs in the real world that try to reduce carbon emissions maybe you're growing forests or maybe you're reducing the pollution of a factory by some way and as a result of that you get these uh tons of uh, carbon ton tokens is basically like a tax credit so these things have a monetary value because you can you know in the real world we have tesla making money off of selling tax credits to uh like gm and so forth other com car companies so i think this is kind of where these tct tokens are coming from these programs are like da 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 so they take uh they take these 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 tokens these tct tokens that are uh, that are put onto the blockchain these are in the blockchain okay so they've been they've taken those tax credits somehow and they've turned them into these tct T tokens on the blockchain and then they bring these two the the several different ones into a pool and the pool creates a BCT token so this BTC token is kind of like an index of different like uh, projects in the real world that are taking carbon out of or reducing carbon and so forth so then you have this BCT token which like I said is like an index right so what does it do well it goes into sushi swap right and uh, people it's sitting in sushi swap maybe it's versus ETH I don't know and I don't know if it's sushi swap I'm just using sushi swap because it could be some other AMA or some other markets I'm not sure I don't know but that's the idea is that it will go into the market and be tradable on the market so it will have a dollar value based or a value versus ETH or whatever it's paired against so then we have Bill. He wants to participate in this, so he buys these TC, these BCT tokens off the off the market. 
Now, if he's buying them and putting them into his pocket, then the companies that want to buy these uh, these TCT tokens are uh, like they're off the market. So they got to pay more. It's, it's like lowering supply of these 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 tax credits for the companies that need them. So raising the price of pollution basically for factories. So just buying this token off the market is going to help reduce pollution in the world. So but what else can he do? Like what is this clima? What is clima? How does clima come into play? Well, he can take those BCT tokens and he can do two things with them. Um, he can stick the BCT token into this clima or he can pair it on sushi swap with the other token create liquidity and bring that token and stick it into clima so clima light works like the olympus dow if you know how it works i do have a video on it you can check my channel olympus dow and find out how that works it's kind of the same system here so he would take those those either those bct tokens stick it in here or he would take those lp tokens the liquidity pool tokens that he got for putting his bct in here into sushi swap and creating more liquidity and he can put those lp tokens inside clima so then what does that happen after time as time progresses usually like on olympus now it's three days for this to be like vested so as some time goes by he can redeem for this clima token so this clima token is like goes to him now so he has this clima token in his wallet right so he's taken bct off the market he's taken these tcp tct tokens off the market he's taken bct off the market or he's added liquidity and then he's put the liquidity into this thing he can't get this back he's trading it for clima tokens so to speak but the clima tokens are going to come out in little pieces right now once he sticks the clima token back into an, like another contract on clima then he's going to get more clima tokens so he's going to get back like a staked clima and it's rebasing so it's just going to over time as time passes he's going to get more and more and more and more of these clima staked clima tokens that he can redeem for clima tokens okay so now we have bob crazy bob here boosted bob and he, he comes over and he sees that what's going on here and he sees that this token price is going up so what does he do he buys it from sushi swap like this is another sushi swap pool with the climate token right so he buys it from sushi swap and he stakes to it so that raises the price of this climate token a little bit right so he because he wants in on this but he doesn't want to go through the process of buying all this or doing all these steps or waiting for this time to like to 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 come out now as this price this market here starts to set the price of clima when uh boost when bill here dollar bill wants to stake some more then he gets a discount so the price of staking for clima is cheaper than the price of buying clima from the market for the most part unless there's too much uh too much BTC or too many bonds inside already. So it's kind of like a balance between, oh, does the market, is the market expensive? Well, if the market's expensive, then I'll buy BCT and I'll stake it, right? And oh, well, if the market is cheap, then I'll buy it from here and stake it, right? So th there's a play of between the two markets here, right? And the last thing I want to talk about is that like, where is it? As the quality of these TCT tokens goes up, as these programs become more better at doing what they're doing and these TCT tokens become more valuable or there becomes less and less of them on the market so they become more valuable, then that will raise inherently raise the price of these BTC tokens. And then these BTC tokens are what's backing these climate tokens. So then these climate tokens should go up in value based on the BCT token. So now this is the basic idea of what's going on here. Um, I hope this has been useful. I hope I haven't made any major mistakes. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.